Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and I'm going to show you today how to download and install iTunes from Apple computers. And this will be the latest version as of April 17th, 2018 at 12.49 p.m. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. First of all, open up your favorite browser. Um, I have several that I have um, available to open up, but I'm going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Edge. And once I have it open, this is the address that you want to go out to, and that would be https colon forward slash forward slash www.apple.com forward slash iTunes forward slash downloads or download that is um, forward slash and once you are here and I'll put this uh, URL address in my video description as well once you're here it only takes seconds to download um, according to the um, Apple website here um, the great thing that they've done on Apple's uh, download website for iTunes is they revamped it so it's a lot easier to um, just Go here, click on, uh, you know, 32-bit or 64-bit version. Um, most people are running 64-bit version. And keep in mind that this is for Windows 7 or later. So, um, and it's version 12.7.4. So I'm going to go ahead and download the 64-bit version because I'm running um, Windows 10 home version and it is a 64-bit operating system. Now, once I do that, um, I get this little prompt down here. Ask me what I want to do. Run, save, or cancel. In this case, I'm going to save it to my computer. And depending on the speed and performance of your computer and your internet speed, uh, this can take a couple of seconds to um, a good number of minutes. Um, I have a quick... Um, Intel i7 in this laptop computer and also I have lightning speed internet All right, um, so it only took a couple seconds My download is uh, finished. So I'm going to go ahead and click on run and at this point it's going to go ahead and um, Initialize the installation of iTunes and I can actually close the browser at this point so that we can see this a little bit more um, clearly on the screen here okay um, at this point I'm just going to click on next and you can take the defaults here and I'm going to do the same and if you want to change the defaults that's up to you and be sure you select the proper um, you know language that you prefer here already I'm going to go ahead and click on install and at this point I authorized it to continue because a, a little prompt popped up that said um, um, is this authorized to be installed on your computer and I went ahead and said yes and then this came back and started copying the uh, files onto my computer here and again depending on the speed and performance of uh, your computer and your internet speed this can take a couple minutes to um, a few seconds actually and mine's moving right along so let's uh, give this an opportunity to complete and it went ahead and copied all the new files and it's starting services that allow iTunes to run um, iTunes will go ahead and start up on its own once the um, installation is completed and of course I get an opportunity to say finish and that's what I'm going to do here and yes you must restart your system for configuration changes made to iTunes to take effect and I can choose to you know go ahead and start or reboot uh, my computer now or wait later I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will be back once I reboot so let me go ahead and click on yes. Okay, we're back. My computer went ahead and completed its restart. 
and I'm back in Windows 10 and iTunes is completely installed and it placed a iTunes icon on my desktop and let me go ahead and click on that and that should open up iTunes now keep in mind no matter how fast a um, processor you might have CPU that or how fast your laptop is I've noticed that iTunes just takes a while to open up so keep that in mind that a few seconds or it could take like 10 seconds to open up on your particular laptop or computer so um, once it starts to open initially here for the first time you have to agree on the uh, license agreement and then it goes out and uh, again um, it's just by nature iTunes is a real resource hog and takes a while to open up all right um, this is a welcome screen and if you say no thanks it closes iTunes I'm gonna say I do agree because that way I can use iTunes and um, we're ready to listen to music or play music um, I don't have any songs installed or downloaded on iTunes as yet um, but I can go to the um, iTunes store and it says welcome to iTunes of course get music watch movies and enjoy free ad TV shows so I'm just going to go ahead and click on the continue here and that takes me right to the store to begin with all right um, that's how you go about downloading iTunes the latest version to your computer and installing it and uh, getting it up and running and ready for listening to the um, to your favorite um, iTunes or favorite music and songs or watch your favorite media on iTunes okay that's it for this video I hope this helped you out 